Hi everyone, this is Sam here with Thermal Cosplay, and today I'm going to talk to you a bit about Wonderflex. Wonderflex has several products, like Warbla does. Um, the Wonderflex that I first started with was the Wonderflex, like the traditional Wonderflex, and it has um, a texture on one side, and it is smooth on the other. Like thermoplastics, it is indeed something that you can heat up and stick to itself. A lot of people like to use this um, as interfacing for like really creative architectural fabric because you can sew this onto fabric and then use a heat gun on the Wonderflex and shape the fabric and as it cools it will stay in place. Um, it also, from experimenting with it, is machine washable but only on cold and you should never dry this because you could potentially break down that structure you've built with the heat. So that is the traditional Wonderflex. There is also different types of FOSS shape. Um, I used FOSS shape for the first time creating um, a little steampunk hat. And then the next time I used it was with the Evolutions group that I did last year for SaboTincon 2018. And uh, we made all of our EV ears with that. So there are different kinds of FOSS shape. Um, this is kind of the most traditional. It's FOSS shape 300. It's pretty thin. Um, it looks like fabric. However, when you heat it up and let it cool, it stays in the shape that you want. Um, you can add it as interfacing to hats or items that require structure, like really crazy collars. Um, or you can even, like we said, I said we did it for our Eevee ears. So I think we had Eevee and Sylveon and Flareon. Yeah. A lot of evolutions used this and they just painted over it with acrylic paint. You can use fabric paint. Um, you can also use um, just fur, cover it in fur. There, there's a lot of possibilities with FOSS shape. Um, there are also, there's also FOSS shape in black and this is FOSS shape 400 and then there's FOSS shape 600. And what the numbers mean is the thickness. So 300 is the thinnest. 400 is kind of right in the middle. My shirt's black, sorry. And then this is the thickest. This is 600. So I kind of equate this to like 4 millimeter foam versus 2 millimeter foam. So <laughs> that that's kind of a good idea. But again, uh, FOSS shape is used for all kinds of things. Um, you can stiffen it using a heat gun or a steamer. It just needs some kind of heat. Um, to activate the, um, to like shrink the fibers. So if you do make something out of FOSS shape, make sure you cut the shape a little bit bigger because when you heat it up, it, it does shrink a bit. It's not excessive, but it's like buying a 50% cotton shirt and it shrinks a little and then it's too tight. So make sure that you cut the shape a little bit big. Now the newest Wonderflex is Wonderflex Pro. This stuff right here. Um, it is smooth on both sides. It is about the thickness of two millimeter foam. It comes in this kind of taupe color <laughs> and it has some heft to it. Um, honestly, you could use this for, again, interfacing and clothing. I feel like if you want a lightweight boning and a corset, you could use Wonderflex Pro. Um, what I did for it, because I was trying to think outside the box, since a lot of the applications for this have been as interfacing in fabrics or in hats or as stabilizers for armor, I wanted to think of what else could I use Wonderflex Pro for. And while experimenting with it, I discovered some things, so let me show you that. One of the things I discovered while experimenting with Wonderflex Pro is that it goes from pretty thick to really thin. It can get like paper thin. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's like crinkling paper. And it stretches so thin that I thought it'd be really cool if someone wanted to make like fairy wings or if they wanted to make elf ears that have been like tattered or messed up. You could honestly use this and then just pull it. And if you heat it up and then pull and let it cool, it will kind of get like this teared look on it, right? And some of it just came off because it's so thin. It would make it very fragile, but it's really interesting how far it stretches because this piece was, was just ended right here and it went all the way out here. So it does have more fragility the longer you stretch it and it does eventually tear, but 
it stretches a lot further than Warbler's original art before tearing, so that's kind of cool. Um, it does have a lower heat activation, and it doesn't stick to itself as well as, um, say, the traditional Wonderflex would, okay? But that's all right. It's still pretty tacky. You just kind of have to hold it together a little bit longer, um, and then it, once it's cool, it will stay together. But I was thinking, how could I use Wonderflex Pro in a different way? So this is what I did, and I'm going to show you how I made these. But Sailor Jupiter has this weird hairpiece. And they're basically two little balls at the end of a hairband. And it was really popular in the 90s, but if you try finding them now, it's nearly impossible. So I decided I was going to make them myself, and I just took an existing rubber band, and I cut it, and I created these little balls on the end with you guessed it, Wonderflex Pro. So they're actually staying on there really well. Um, while the Wonderflex was warm, I used a little knife to make a hole, and I'll show you the video right after this. And I just put the rubber bands in there, and then I pressed it, and I let it cool. Um, if you're worried about these coming off, you can just put a little dab of super glue, and it would keep it all together. But let me show you how I make these, and, and then real fast afterwards, I'll show you what it looks like on the wig. Here is what I made, right? And here's a wig for Sailor Jupiter. So what I'm going to do is just literally take it underneath here. And we're gonna see if this works, ladies and gentlemen. This is my first try. We're gonna discover how well these stay on here and if I need to add super glue. Oh, look. It's Sailor Jupiter's weird green the green balls. <laughs> well, thank you very much for watching this video. Again, this is Wonderflex Pro. And let me show you. This is Wonderflex Pro. And I created a hair accessory. That means you can pretty much use this to make any sort of hair accessory, probably jewelry. Um, it is very easy to sculpt with. Uh, Sam signing out from Thermal Cosplay and have fun making things. Bye.